Hey, hello everyone. Uh, Canopy Growth CGC today announced the Q1 2021 results and I wanted to make uh, simplify the thing some of the numbers for you for a quick look. The first of all the way they uh, count the quarters is the first quarter of 2021 is going to be March to June 2020. Uh, everyone has a different uh, calendar year starting so this is what it is for CGC and the second thing we need to be careful about when do we talk about the Canadian dollar or US dollar uh, to keep it less confusing they the all the reports we would prefer to talk in the Canadian dollars but you should also keep in mind that the current Canadian numbers translate into lower US numbers so if you want to see the things in the US dollars number so before we do that, let's look at the numbers in the previous quarters. Uh, we do know that the, the, the numbers were for the most recent quarter, $107 million for the quarter ending March 31st. And part of this reason here was partly because of the pandemic, but could have been the other reasons as well, because in the March, the pandemic was not in the peak, but uh, in the next quarter, in the quarter previous to, to those, we see that up and downs uh, all the way a year ago, the same quarter had this number $90 million. And I'm only talking about the revenue because the uh, losses number, they, they are staggering, they are restructuring cost, and so we'll not go into the detail. What we want to see at this point of time, that is the company can, uh, can keep growing on a sustained basis and then uh, capture more market share. So these, th these downtime does not look so good, but what the good thing about this quarterly results is that now it's again in the growth trajectory with $119 million sales. And then the share market responded positively with an increase in like seven to 8% as I speak now. And then we expect that this, th this should continue to consolidate its price because this, the results are encouraging. So uh, it did some good job in reducing the head, in reducing its cost, and the losses are still quite a bit, like it's like $128 million of loss, and that's a lot compared to what its, its revenue is. But if you look at this, it has a lot of cash, it's still $2 billion of the cash in hand, uh, the constant, the Constellation has invested a lot into it and then even though they burned a lot, but they still have a lot of cash to that will keep it grow, uh, going for at least like next uh, maybe three years or so, even if this is the losses are at this amount. But with the hope that this thing, $107 million uh, Canadian dollars to 119 and then it goes back to 123 and more for the next quarter, uh, it should be on its path to profitability at some point of time. So this is what I have here. Uh, I am, it's not like a very uh, hugely in, encouraging, but it's, it's it has stabilized and we expect that the share prices will keep growing. Although it, the, 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 the days are over where the, uh, the, the import stock used to grow at a very fast rate or or they're more uh, kind of um, volatile so we expect the volatile to reduce and uh, we get the market insane it, it market i mean there, we still have like uh, the, um, the the stock is wor is valued at like six billion dollar at i speak which is i think slightly overpriced but looking into the future this probably will be okay and this primarily because we have the uh, we have the cash in available with it and there are investors who stand behind it. Thanks for taking a look.